Today I'm going to show you how to overclock the i5-6600K, the most easy and effective way. I am using the ASUS C170 Pro Gaming motherboard. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Alright, let's get this done. Okay guys, so what you want to do first is make sure you have the current BIOS update. Mine is the 0802, it's for my motherboard. And make sure XMP is disabled. Make sure that the motherboard is on default settings. After that, go to advanced mode. Then I go to AI tweaker. And right here, I check my frequency. Right here, you can see my turbo mode for my 6600K. It's at 3900 MHz. And my RAM frequency is at 2133. Make sure everything is showing up properly. To achieve the 4.6 GHz overclock, what you want to do is follow my steps right here. I change the CPU core ratio from auto to sync all cores. So right here on auto, as you can see right here, we got the option. That's what we want to change. I'm not going to make this complicated for you. We're going to change that to 46, which is going to give us 4.6 gigahertz. You can see right there now it says right there the target 4600 megahertz equals 4.6 right now we are not going to mess around with the ram frequency we want to make sure that our overclock is stable at 4.6 without the xmp leave everything on auto don't touch voltages don't touch anything just leave on auto so we click on exit Save changes and reset. Right here you can see that the four cores we change from auto to 46 and we go. Then we are going to Windows. So it's time to log in. It's time to open up ADA64. Okay, once we are on ADA64, what you want to do is I get the ADA64 CPU ID, leave it right there, open up the system stability test, and open up CPU ID Pro. And what we're gonna do is we are going to monitor uh, the CPU frequency and we're going to monitor the memory frequency on separate programs. So let's go ahead and start it. And after that guys, what you want to do is let it test as many hours as you want. I have done this test many times. Make sure you have a stable overclock at 4.6 without the XMP on. Okay, well if you have a good overclock and stable, let's go back to the BIOS and turn on the XMP and get our 2666 MHz. Okay, so we are here now. So let's make this not complicated. Let's go ahead and turn on. XMP. You can read this part, but for here I select yes. Here you can overclock it, you can put it up to 2800 if you want, but you know what, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to leave it at 2666, I'm making this video easy for you. So after that, we click save, changes and reset. And after that, click OK and boot up into Windows. OK, so I get my system stability test running one more time, I check my frequencies on my RAM. Uh, my overclock and I let the stability test run for about four to five hours and after that I play some games I do some Photoshop I do some Premiere Pro editing I run some benchmarks and my my overclock seems to be very stable so I am happy with that 4.6 gigahertz I think and I believe is the sweet spot for overclocking the i5 6600k if you want to go beyond that that is your personal choice but I I tried going to 4.7 and I was having a lot of issues, not post and whatnot. So this right here is the most easy way that I found 
to overclock the i5 6600K. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like down below, share the video. Thank you guys, you guys are awesome.